Okay, what we're going to do is install DOS onto a new VirtualBox machine. So from the VirtualBox manager, we click New and run the wizard. And I'm going to call this one DOS2, as I already have a DOS1. And the operating system has selected auto-selected DOS, which is good. Clicking Next, 32 megabytes of RAM is more than enough. You can run DOS and much, much, much less and I'll create a hard disk to install to in this case it doesn't have to be very big I'll just accept the defaults have a fixed size of uh, let's say I've got around about 10 megs that'll do for this uh, demonstration and uh, I create the virtual machine that's all done and now my machine DOS2 appears in the window here before we start it up I need to change the settings and what we'll do on the storage is add the free DOS ISO, which has got all the boot files for DOS and install files, into the empty CD slot. Currently, the CD is pointing at the uh, physical drive on this machine, but I'm going to select the free DOS base CD ISO, and that'll mount that image and make it appear to the virtual machine like a CD drive. To press OK. Now we're fit to go. So let's start this machine and it'll open in its own window and hopefully boot from the CD, which it has. So here we have the FreeDOS boot menu. The first thing we want to do is to continue to boot FreeDOS from CD ROM, which is exactly what we do. So we enter a 1 and uh, it gives us options here. I think I want to install it to hard disk, that will suit me, and I'll install it in English. But I need to prepare the disk because all I've got is a raw device. It doesn't know whether it's DOS, NTFS or whatever. So let's prepare the hard disk and that automatically puts me to uh, the disk partitioning tool. So yes, I'm going to partition this disk and we'll accept, take the free space and a new partition, which is primary, and we'll use all of the space. Do I want to initialize it? Yes. Do I want to initialize the whole partition? Yes, because nothing's been put on there before. When I finish with that, I get an active drive C, uh, primary partition of uh, the whole size, and it's FAT12. Uh, FAT well, that's the old uh, uh, DOS format. So uh, once I'm happy with that, I exit pressing F3. Do I want to write the partition table? Yes, I do. And those changes are written. And the computer needs to restart? Yes. Now, unfortunately, at this point, uh, it doesn't seem to go much further. So I press right control to escape the virtual machine window. And I'll just press the X in the corner to shut that machine down, power off the machine. When I restart it, it'll now have, uh, I can run through the installation again, but I'll now have a hard disk which has got a primary partition table. So boot install exactly as we did before at uh, this time it uh, is determined I need to format the disk which I will do yes and then I continue with installation so I'm going to start the installation carefully read all the uh, the installation notes I shall accept all the defaults those are quite correct I want to install all the packages all the default packages and with a lot of flashing of windows as it goes quite quickly it copies all of those onto the hard disk and when it's finished it now needs a reboot so yeah, unfortunately as the CD drive is the first one it's gone straight back in there but if I press H I could reboot to the uh, first hard disk now again for some strange reason it does tend to hang at this point so what I'll do is quit and sh power off the machine again go back into the settings on this DOS2 machine and remove the CD drive so remove disk from virtual drive and now there's no CD attached so when I boot this machine it should boot from the newly installed operating system Accept the default, and lo and behold, I now have a DOS machine, 
with all the usual c commands you know and love running in there. Obviously if I want to mount the CD with lots of DOS programs on I would just mount it in the virtual machine settings, reboot the machine and Bob's your uncle. And that's the end of that demo. So it all works quite swimmingly apart from the need to shut the machine down a couple of times when it uh, hangs for some reason.